Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. Today we have the brand new Air Venturi Avenger in 25 caliber. The Avenger was announced at the 2020 SHOT Show in Las Vegas. 177, 22, and 25 calibers are what it's gonna be coming in. And this thing has a ton going for it. A lot of interesting features, some of which we haven't seen before at the price point. So for an entry level gun, this thing is packing some high end features uh, that has me interested and I'm sure has a lot of you guys out there interested as well. Before we dive into those features, go ahead, throw us a like, uh, comment down below. Let us know what you're excited about with the Avenger, if there's anything that's got your eye with it and don't forget to subscribe, we appreciate it a ton. The Avenger has dual gauges. The right-hand side gauge is the reg pressure gauge and the left-hand side gauge is the fill pressure gauge. On the right-hand side of the action towards the rear, you have a hunter-style safety, which is very easy to use. One of my favorite features is the biathlon-style side lever located on the right-hand side of the action. On top of the breech, you have an 11 millimeter dovetail and weaver combo rail. You can use either type of mounts. On the underside of the forend of the stock, you'll find a Weaver Picatinny accessory rail. At the rear of that forend Picatinny rail, you have a front sling mount point, and then at the back of the stock, you have a rear sling point. In addition to a fully shrouded barrel, you also have 180 cc's of air capacity. There's actually a hidden air cylinder section inside of the stock, and that fills to 4350 PSI, 300 bar. At the very front of the air cylinder, you have a male quick disconnect fitting, very easy to fill with, and that has a threaded cover. The trigger is two-stage adjustable and probably the nicest one I've pulled on a gun in this price range so far. The Avenger comes with two Marauder-style magazines, 10 rounds in 177 and 22, 8 and 25, and a single shot tray. The synthetic stock is fully ambidextrous and rounds out nicely with a rubber butt pad. What sets the Avenger apart from a feature perspective than any of the other guns in that $300 price range are two power adjustment features that we absolutely have to talk about. The first one you're gonna find at the back of the action here, and that is this hole in the stock. This is actually gonna lead you to your hammer spring tension adjustment. Now that adjusts with a simple Allen key, clockwise increases tension, counterclockwise decreases. And of course, that's gonna give you a ton of power adjustability, fine tuning ability as well uh, in there to play off of the other adjustment, which is the regulator adjustment. And that is found on the underside here. You pop off this rubber cap and you have a single slotted brass screw there that will adjust your regulator pressure. Now, just below that, you will find actually a bleed screw. Now the bleed screw is necessary because in the manual, they tell you that if you do want to adjust the pressure down that you need to bleed the gun off first so you do need to empty it to adjust down follow the manual instructions that's the important part um, but if you do want to go up you can do that at will all the way up to 200 bar which is kind of the max reg setting for this gun very easy to do it's actually counterclockwise increases pressure uh, and clockwise will decrease the pressure as well so um, a really really huge key feature that we don't see on anything near this price point really for an adjustable reg that's like a thousand dollar price mark and above. So to have it on a $300 gun is awesome to see and one of the features that really, really makes this gun stand out amongst the $300 crowd. You can see on our reg gauge, which is really handy to have, we're right at about 2,700 PSI on the reg. So that's where it's gonna be, the hammer spring set, where it comes out of the box. I'm expecting this to be towards the higher end of what the specs say. Now let's get this gun out to the range and see what the Avenger can do. Pretty good results out of the Avenger at 45 yards here, this 25 caliber. Uh, one group we didn't show you there uh, is the H&N Barracudas actually shot pretty darn well. Now this is an eight shot one inch group, but uh, seven out of those eight right here in a five eighths inch group. So a solid pellet choice there. Doesn't seem to be terribly pellet picky running through. We got the King Heavies. Now these are the, the original King Heavies, not the Mark IIs. It didn't like the Mark IIs very much. Uh, seven eighths of an inch for all eight shots, JSB Hades. Uh, three quarters of an inch for all eight shots, pretty good. A little bit of a surprise, the FX Hybrid Slugs running again, three quarters of an inch there, punching nice clean holes. 
but the absolute king of the hill, very apropos considering the name. Eight shots with JSB Kings, a half inch group out of this $300 Air Venturi Avenger at 45 yards. I think we're gonna have to extend the range out for this. I mean, that's just too good accuracy. We gotta see what this thing will do further out. But first, I do wanna put the gun over the chronograph and see how those numbers look. From a full 4350 PSI fill, those JSB Kings are averaging about 907 feet per second, and that's over 52 shots on this string, folks. Out of the box, 2700 PSI regulator setting and the stock hammer spring setting, you are seeing a huge shot count from very little air capacity. Now there's a lot to digest here, but really what I wanna focus on is that extreme spread. 27 feet per second is definitely higher than we'd like to see for a regulated gun. And that's largely caused by the back half of this string. You notice it kind of spikes, shot 37 or so. And that's actually when it was supposed to come off of the reg. So should have been right around 2,700 PSI. And we actually see that velocity go up. What that tells me from experience is that the regulator is actually set too high which means we should be able to drop that reg pressure a few hundred PSI, uh, which should help us shrink that extreme spread all while maintaining the same velocity and energy. So we're gonna show you guys how to reset the reg on the Avenger, how to make those adjustments. And we're gonna try and reset this gun up into that 22, 2300 PSI range and see if we're getting basically the same velocity results as I suspect we're gonna see. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, we'll go ahead and flip the gun over. I'll kinda angle it towards you guys so you can see it here. Now this is your reg adjustment right under this little cap. So you're gonna wanna pull that out. But the first thing we need to do per the manual instructions is degas the gun. Now we don't wanna mess with the reg adjustment screw quite yet, but we do wanna degas the cylinder. Let's go ahead and put on some safety glasses, take a three millimeter Allen key, insert it into the Allen head screw here and counterclockwise. You guys can see the air pressure gauge going down here. You don't want to take the screw all the way out, just want to loosen it up so it starts leaking out. All right, so we've emptied this out. Took about a minute to do, you know, just opening up that screw all the way. Now that we're empty, before we adjust the reg, we're going to want to tighten that bleed screw back down just to make sure we don't forget it when we go to fill it up later. And then we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver, find our reg adjustment screw, and we're gonna screw it all the way in clockwise. Now that's gonna bottom this out back at kind of the starting point for the adjustment range, uh, which will end up being a very, very low pressure. So remember, it's very important that you guys remember this part. You can adjust this regulator up at will to 3000 PSI, but it is not recommended to adjust it down while under pressure. And that's why we've degassed it here. So it's best to kind of go all the way to that bottom starting pressure point on the reg and then go up to wherever you want. Now that we have a regulator adjustment screw kind of bottomed out back to that lowest setting, we're gonna go ahead and put some air in the gun. Now we don't need to fill it up all the way. You certainly can, but you don't need to. Just gonna get about 3,000 PSI into this gun. So after our cylinders cooled a bit, uh, we have about 2,800 PSI in the gun, which is fine. Uh, just need to make sure we have more than what we intend to set the reg to, so that's very simple. We're gonna go ahead and flip the gun over, and you will notice that this reg gauge is at almost zero. So that's because we bottomed out that setting. Now we're gonna go ahead, take our flathead, and begin to turn this screw counterclockwise. So we start turning counterclockwise and you wanna make sure you're going nice and slow. And we should be about 2300. Let me take a look here. Yep, we are right between the uh, two and 400 mark. So reg set now at about 2300 PSI. Uh, you can always go ahead and take a couple dry fire shots just to cycle that. All right. And let's just make sure we settled, yep. So the reg's still coming back right around 2200, 2300, right in that ballpark. So we should be good to go. Now we'll head back out to the chronograph and see if we're still getting the same power as I suspect we will. After adjusting the reg to 2300 PSI and filling the gun back up to 4350, with those JSB Kings, we are now getting about 48 shots within 16 feet per second. So we've shrunk that extreme spread exactly as we wanted to, and we're getting basically the same power. Bringing our original stock settings string back onto the screen now and comparing them, you can see we are a lot more consistent. That extreme spread shrunk by over 10 feet per second. 
uh, once we dropped that rag pressure so it accomplished exactly what we wanted to, more consistency while maintaining the same power and basically the same shot count. You were looking at 45 to 50 good shots on this Avenger from a full fill. And really the nice thing about that, for those of you that are either hand pumping or on a limited air supply, you can fill this gun to a lower pressure and still get a very good shot count out of it. We were able to get 100 yards today, thankfully, to test this Avenger at long range. First time we've tested a gun at this low price point at that kind of distance. Obviously, the 45-yard stuff was very impressive. Uh, coming out of the gate, the King Heavy is a 2.5-inch group, not a 100-yard pellet in this gun. The FX Hybrid Slugs, uh, I have no idea what happened on this shot here, guys. I, it felt good, felt fine, uh, but an inch and an eighth. For seven out of eight, not too bad, especially for a slug, probably going a little slower than it would prefer in a gun like this. Uh, again, with the Hades seeming to kind of have a seven out of eight pattern here, uh, you take this low one out and you have seven out of eight in a one inch group. This, uh, this low one here kicks it to 1.3 inches, so still not bad. Uh, and the King, certainly the best of all at 45, continued on to uh, 100 yards as well. Uh, seven out of those eight shots up here in a seven eighths inch group. So a sub one inch, seven out of eight shots, inch and a quarter for all eight. Uh, certainly not bad, especially for a gun in this price point. Uh, the Avenger, obviously from an accuracy perspective is bringing a ton of value. Let's break down the Avenger here. So obviously coming into a very crowded entry level price point field, this gun's got a lot of competition, but certainly has a lot of features that set it apart. I mean, that adjustable regulator alone is a massive, massive feature, and quite frankly, a bit of a godsend. It really allows you to tune the gun however you want. We're certainly gonna explore that more in detail down the road, uh, but you even saw it today, you know, finding that kind of sweet spot for the gun just to tighten up your shot strings a bit. You know, this thing really lets you do that at your fingertips. It's a little bit of a procedure, but it's not a big deal. It doesn't take very long at all and having that external hammer spring adjustable as well is awesome to see this thing like i said has a lot going for it it's certainly accurate it's got a good trigger that side lever is a huge upgrade from bolt actions that we've seen before it's going to be a lot easier to operate and still comes in at a slight six pounds so there are three gripes that I have with the Avenger. One, the 25 here is a little on the loud side, but putting out 45, 46 foot pounds, I, I can't really beef with it that much, especially in the price range. You get yourself a little Donny FL adapter. You can put whatever you want on the end. Um, but overall, certainly not terrible in the noise department, just a little on the loud side. Uh, the synthetic stock, you know, is a synthetic stock. It doesn't have the highest quality feel to it, but it's certainly rugged and going to hold up over time. And I also really like the fact that it kind of hides that little uh, spare cylinder section there to give you that full 180 cc capacity that this thing's giving you and the last gripe i have is the high fill pressure 4350 is certainly high but because it has a relatively small cylinder those of you hand pumping probably not going to be a big deal to get it to like 250 bar and because you can tune the gun down reg wise which you've seen us do here you do have the ability to run it at more of a 3000 to 32 3300 psi range and still get a good number of shots Overall, very impressed with the Avenger, both from a performance and a feature standpoint. This thing packs a ton of value at the price point. You guys certainly need to check it out next time you're over on PyramidAir.com. For The Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate it a ton. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll see you at the next one.